Hi, I'm Ruth. Did you know that the waters that surround Ireland are full of invasive species that really should not be here? Now let's go take a look at these invasive species and see what we can find. Are you seriously asleep, Keelan? Keelan? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's time, we have to go look for some invasive species. Zebra mussels or terrapins. Come on. What you mean, an invasive species? I think you're an invasive species. I'm having a bit of a snooze. Yeah, I'm knackered, I'm... Oh, yeah, all right, come on. I've been working hard all day, you know. I know, but I'm just having a bit of a snooze. When you get to my age, you need to have a snooze during the day. So how do you know where zebra mussels are? Do they tend to be around every harbour or just some? They tend to be, they tend to be in harbours where you've got salt and fresh water mixed, but you'll only find them at the really, really low tide. And that's exactly what we've got now. And I think just around here, yeah, look, here we have them. What do you think of them? Wow. See, they have the zebra, exactly. zebra stripes on exactly. them. Exactly, exactly. And that's why they're called the zebra mussels. So they've got these cool black and white stripes on them, just like a zebra. They look really, really beautiful, but unfortunately they're not. I'll tell you what, you hold them, guys. Yeah. And I get, because I see some native ones here, right? So these are the native. Oh. These are the native Irish mussels. So what these guys, these are the invasive species. And I'm going to ask you loads of hard questions. First of all, what do you think an invasive species is? Something that invades the other countries that shouldn't be here? Exactly. These don't belong from here. These come from China and places oh. far, far, far away. And what they're doing is they're actually taking over from the local guys, right? Oh. Now, these guys come in and they grow really, really fast. They grow much faster than the, the local guys, right? Second of all, they feed much quicker. And the other thing about them is they breed really, really fast. These guys can produce, you see one of them, yeah. can produce one million babies every year. Well, I know they come from like China and all, but how do they get into Ireland? It's a good question, right? Invasion, invasive species come in loads of different ways. But how these guys come in, these actually come in in the ballast water of ships. Any idea what ballast water is? It's the bottom of the ship. Exactly, it's the water that's inside a ship. And these only came in like about 10 years ago. So in 10 years, there's that many of them that they're actually now starting to kill off the local guys. Wow, that's amazing. I would have never known that. I never heard of zebra mussels until this. And I never realised that something that small could kill one of these guys. I think we might put them back now because what I really want to find out about is terrapins. I, you, you were telling me about these earlier. They're turtles that, again, they're invasive species. Now, they're going to be really, really hard to find, but I know they're there. So do you want to come and we give it a lash? See yeah, if let's we can go. find them. Cool. Mm. And we... All right, listen, I brought you to my local park. This is where I am all the time. There's been loads of reports of sightings here. They're meant to be here. This is just perfect turtle area, so hopefully we're going to see some. But I, there's one question still. How did it get here? I, don't, I still don't understand. Well, what happens is, you see, people get them as pets, right? But when they get them, they're little, small, cute little turtles. They're not like big, ninja, mutant things, right? But that's what happens. They get big and they get ugly, and people don't want them anymore because they produce lots of waste. So what do they do with them? They started to release them back into the ponds and they're now starting to thrive